So I've got the uh, ESP32 plugged into the MSI8080 board. I've added the extra components, as you saw in the previous video, so that the processor should be able to run. The uh, SD card is in the little SD card connector, and I'm going to go ahead and plug in now a USB lead onto the board, and hopefully what we'll see here in the device manager is a pop-up either saying a serial port's been installed or the system needs a driver. So let's see what we get. I heard it mount. Okay, we need to find and download a driver. So it's a CP2102N. Let's see if we can do an update driver automatically. Search automatically. It was unable to find something to download. Let's go ahead and search the web. That's the wrong browser. So we're looking for CP, CP2102 N. We'll search for that. Silicon Lab, see if we can figure out how to download the driver. Yeah, I accept that you use. Yes, again, I accept your cookie policy. Windows 10 Universal. We'll go ahead and download that. Save as, and I'm going to throw that over on my E drive where I've got the working folder for the work we're doing here. New folder CP2102N driver. Just so I've got it captured. And let's go ahead and install it. So I'm going to unplug the ESP at this point, pull the USB cable out. And then we'll go ahead and run the, let's see, I put that in the wrong folder. Uh, I wanted that to be in the driver folder. Extract all. Now it looks like we can go straight to, is there an installer here? Yeah, Windows 64 bit, which is what I'm running. It's asking to install the driver. It says it's installed. Let's plug the USB cable back in. We heard a device mount again, and hopefully now under COM ports. So it's on COM3, so we see the driver's now loaded on COM3. So now I'm going to fire up TerraTerm. And actually get it here in the window and we're going to do a new connection we're going to go to COM3 so it's the only COM port on my machine I don't remember the baud rate this was supposed to be uh, set up this real port boy I don't remember the baud rate I mean it's, it's a good sign it's talking uh, so let's, uh, I nibble forum baud rate. Let's see if this has been asked. I nibble 8080 will actually get me to his website. here for the forum. Let's see if this is mentioned in here. Bob Wright. Is it 115k? It just hints at that. Let me uh, 
reset. Yeah, it was 115k. So PS RAM, the chip is this was able to read the device of the uh, PS RAM. So I'm going to assume that's working. Uh, and I'm going to assume here. I almost think in his video he mentioned that this error was normal at this point. SPIS RAM memory test OK. Pro CPU up. And now, just out of curiosity, I'm going to remove the power, remove the SD card, and see how it acts without the SD card in. And it went through the same thing as it not seeing the SD card. And it's possible it's not. I might have something wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. Get the SD card back in without dropping it on the floor. So this got the ESP boot log level set to none. Brownout detection was triggered. I can't tell if we got further here or not. Well, uh, I, I will sort this, uh, figure out what's going on, and then I'll come back in a minute. Well, based on what I've been, been able to read, I think we're okay at this point. It's, it's not absolute. I believe this is expected at this point, so I think we're good. Uh, anyhow, I, I'm going to wrap this up here and assume I'm good at this point, and I'll move on with uh, further steps in the next video.